Hey everyone, welcome to today's deep dive into Google's latest leap in robotics. This update is nothing short of groundbreaking, showcasing an advanced system, often called Gemini 2.0, that's pushing humanoid robots to levels we've only dreamed of. In this video, you'll see exactly how these robots are learning and functioning in ways we never thought possible. It's not just a small step forward, it's a giant leap for robotics, paving the way for machines that can reason about and interact with the physical world almost like we do. Gemini 2.0's intelligence to general-purpose robotic agents in the physical world. To be helpful, robots need to be interactive, responding live to your actions and your voice. They need to be dexterous to complete your most complex tasks. And they need to be general to understand things in your 3D world. And all of these capabilities need to work across different physical forms. We're bringing this together in Gemini Robotics, our most advanced vision language action model. Gemini Robotics is interactive. Can you put the bananas in the clear container? Notice how we move the objects and the model reacts and replans on the fly. Can you put the grapes in the clear container? Our model's low latency means it can respond live to rapidly changing conditions and instructions. This same model can generalize to all kinds of applications where you can collaborate with the robot live. Gemini Robotics is dexterous. High dexterity tasks are some of the biggest challenges in robotics. I can fold the orange square into an origami fox. That sounds fun. Why don't we try that? Sure. Did you know that the word origami comes from the Japanese words ori, meaning to fold, and kami, meaning paper, these capabilities are enabled by Gemini 2.0's spatial understanding of detailed aspects of things in your world. I can point to where the eye should be drawn on the fox. Most importantly, Gemini Robotics is general. It uses Gemini 2.0's world understanding to generalize across a vast range of real-world tasks. Can you flip the red die so that it matches the number on the green die? Many robots can execute predefined actions, but these movements are not predefined. The robot is reasoning both about what it sees and how to move. It figures out how to make the red die match just like we asked. And this generalization goes even further. This same model can generalize to tasks like this one that it's never been trained to do. Pick up the basketball and slam dunk it. Keep in mind, these are objects the robot has never seen before. But by leveraging Gemini 2.0's understanding of concepts like basketball and slam dunks, the robot figures out the task. We're now inviting more partners to join our Trusted Testers program, where we're working together to build the next generation of robotic AI agents. One of the most exciting aspects of the Gemini platform is that it can perform tasks with zero training data or just a few demonstrations, what researchers call zero-shot or few-shot learning. This means the robot doesn't need extensive repetitive programming for every new action. Instead, it can adapt quickly even if it encounters tasks or situations it's never seen before. This tackles a major criticism that robots and AI can't generalize beyond their training data. Now, with this kind of adaptability, robots don't have to be trained in a perfect simulation of their environment. They can observe, reason, and make decisions on the fly, similar to how humans do. Help me get organized. Let's start by putting the pen with the other pencils. Okay, I will move the pen with the other pencils. Pick up the basketball and slam dunk it. Okay, I will pick up the basketball and slam dunk it through the net. Good job. The latest interactive update shows these robots adapting to dynamic environments in real time. Picture a human moving objects around or altering a workspace. The robot continuously processes these changes and adjusts its behavior to accomplish its goals. This is critical because the real world is never static. Everything around us is in flux. The robot's ability to navigate such changes in real time at near human speed is a huge milestone. It suggests that robotics is edging closer to the kind of situational awareness we expect in daily life. 
Can you put the bananas in the clear container? Can you put the grapes in the clear container? Can you put the grapes in the pink container? Hey, can you erase the whiteboard for me? Another standout feature is how adept these robots have become at performing intricate tasks, from loading glasses into a holder, to manipulating small game pieces, or even folding paper. They showcase a fine level of motor control. This means that even with basic hardware, like simple grippers, robots can now handle a variety of precise actions. As hardware improves, the range of possible tasks expands even further. In the near future, we could see robots performing feats that surpass human dexterity, an outcome that would truly redefine what robots can do for us. Lastly, Gemini can switch between different types of robot platforms, like moving from a dual arm robot to a humanoid with five-fingered hands with minimal data. This adaptability is a big deal because each platform usually requires unique training. Gemini's model circumvents that, effectively acting like a universal software update for diverse hardware. On top of that, Google has introduced Gemini Robotics ER, a vision language model that lets robots reason about space, objects, and movement in a human-like way. By integrating these capabilities, Google is clearly leading the charge in turning cutting-edge research into real-world robotic solutions. So, what do you think about these major strides in robotics? Let's keep the conversation going, because with every update, we're one step closer to a future where robots are as commonplace and capable as our smartphones.